In this video, I will show you how to make a simple wall explosion just like in Jailbreak for your Roblox game. You can walk through it and it works flawlessly every time. Okay, so in order to make this Jailbreak wall, let's insert a part and simply scale this thing down to about one stud. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and set my model move and everything to one stud. Anyways, next, create a nice size for this. What I recommend doing is using the rig builder and putting in a block rig to match around the humans or the Roblox player's size. Next, simply make a wall. S next, if you're already done your wall, then just hold tight. We're um, almost there to explaining how, just how to do this. Anyways, next I'm going, I think that's a good size. There we go. Once we have our wall done, I say that's a good size for the player. Uh, maybe let's make this a bit smaller. I don't think we need it this high. There we go. And let's maybe make it a little less wide. There we go. This looks a little more normal. Now that I have that, I can delete my player and just scale this up just to make it symmetrical. There we go. Now what we can do whoops, is change up our material to be brick. I'm also going to go to model and anchor all this. Next, I'm going to duplicate one of our already anchored parts and fill that into the hole that we have. If you don't have a hole, make sure to set a hole. To make it a bit obvious, let's indent this and make it indented just like that. To make it more obvious, let's maybe turn down the color a bit. Making it a bit smaller than the actual part, whoops, making it a, making this a bit smaller than the actual, or not smaller, but making this, making our exploding part a bit um, thinner than the actual wall can help with make it actually explode out of the area that's supposed to be in or else it could have a little bit of issues okay anyways next what we can do is I just have to get a nice color here there we go now that our color is a bit different let's go add in a script exit out of that and add in a proximity prompt inside this proximity prompt I'm gonna go with about one second time so it's really fast to demonstrate the explosion Okay, you can set this to however long. Let's go interact. Let's go blow, whoops, blow up. There we go. And object text. Let's call this, um, hmm. Let's call this wall because it's a wall. Okay. Now, what we can do is now that we're pretty much done with that, we can click on our script. Let's cre create a variable for our part. So we can go local part. Local part is going to be equal to script.parent. There we go. Next we can do is we can go part whoops part dot mouse part dot proc semi prompt colon connect. Whoops. Nope, first we have to do triggered colon connect function and then we can simply put in those two bracks at the end and then press enter so it auto completes with an end. If it doesn't then just write down the end. Okay. Once you have this done, what we can do now is simply we have to create an instance dot new or we have to create an exploding part which will be a new instance so what we can do is local explosion explosion is going to be equal to a new instance dot new and then explosion uh, did I spell that right yes I did okay next now that we have our exploding part done let's just go with part part dot um part dot anchored equals false because if it's anchored then nothing will happen to it once that's done what we can do is we can do part we can do now actually no we can do explosion explosion dot um explosion dot uh what do we have to do explosion dot parent is equal to game dot workspace and after that we have to go explosion dot um, position is going to be equal to part oops part dot position there we go now that we have this and if we just simply go ahead press this play here what you should see is that when we hold this that blows away and then we can walk through nicely the only issue is, is that you can keep <coughs> summoning explosions, and if you stay too close to it, it can also kill you. Not very fun. 
Okay, to avoid it from constantly triggering over and over again, what we can simply do is we can do it once we have done this, we can go um, part dot proximity dot proximity prompt dot enabled equals false. Now what we can do is let's simply wait about 10 seconds. I think that's enough for the player to get through. Now we can do is we can simply um, hmm, let's simply get this and get position. You want to get position and set to that. Whoops. Actually, before we do that, let's simply part. We want to anchor our part. So let's go part dot anchored equals true. Now we can do is part part dot position is going to be equal to let's do is it going to be equal to a new uh, vector three value and since it's a new vector three value we have dot dot new so pretty much what this will do is it will just set the parse position to this new vector three and pretty much this is a new vector three since this vector three isn't really recognized anywhere the reason we don't have to do that here is because there's already a vector three set on this part so pretty much this is your vector three okay Vector 3 just means 3 dimensions. There's also vector 2 and just vector which is 1 dimension, but that's a bit more complicated. Or maybe not, depends on how you look at it. Most people will just use vector 3. Anyways, enough with me rambling on. Next what we have to do is we have to change the orientation. So we can go part dot orientation. It's going to be equal to a new vector 3. Well, actually not technically, vector 3 dot new. And then inside of here, just get the orientation, which should be 0, 0, 0. And just like that, or if you want to, you can really just copy and paste it in. Okay. And lastly, we have to do is part dot proximity prompt dot enabled equals true. You know, I'm going to set this to five seconds just to show you guys a bit faster. Okay. We walk up to this wall. Don't stand too close or it will, will get damaged by the explosion. Walk through. As you can see, in five seconds, it'll go back normal. And we can blow it up again, um, push it out of its socket, just like that, and in 5 seconds it'll come back. Depending on how thick you make this wall, it might be a little harder to push out. But as you can see, you get the explosion and everything. If you want, you can also get an explosion sound effect, which I, which I might make a how to add sound effects video later on. Anyways, as you can see, this works, and it'll constantly work. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.